it's really easy to find ourselves stuck in this loop and this mindset, this mentality of we have to be perfect. We have to do everything absolutely perfect or else it's just not worthy of having been done at all. And this really stops us. It's like limits us from being able to actually move forward to make progress, to get things done because we're so focused on the idea that if it's not a hundred out of a hundred, then it wasn't good at all. And that's kind of like getting a flat tire. You probably heard this before. It's kind of like getting a flat tire and going out to your car and slashing all the other tires just because one mistake or one thing went wrong. Perfectionism is a trap. It's going to stop you. It's going to stall you. And it's gonna be the thing that actually prevents you from moving forward in so many different areas of life. And so if we really wanna move past that, we have to change our mindset and I've actually got a story for you that my dad delivered to me the other day, which really helped me through this. He said, you know, I'll spare you all the, the details that you probably don't know, but back in the day, he used to work with this guy at Nokia uh, when Nokia was actually a you know really big, awesome, killer company. And um, the guy used to say, and he had this slogan that he would use when they were trying to like launch something new or put something new out there. He would say, is it good enough to win? Is it good enough to win? Is the thing that we're doing, is the strategy that we're implementing, is the route that we're going, is that good enough to win? And I think when you really take this kind of slogan and you work with it and you apply it to different areas of life, it allows you to really step back from this perfectionist mindset that it has to be absolutely perfect. The process has to be absolutely perfect or else it's not worthy have been done or you shouldn't keep on going down that path. When you let go of that and then you really start to connect with, what is it actually gonna take to win? Like to get the job done. And I can let go of it being squeaky clean. In fact, it might get messy at times, but I'm okay with that because you know nothing is perfect. I'm not perfect. The world's not perfect. And so why should I hold myself to that standard? Can I let go of that standard? And can I actually focus more on maybe excellence, right? You can still strive to be the best version of yourself, but know that chasing perfection is often a mind, a mindset that will trap you in this loop of, well, I tried something in a few days and it didn't go well or something slipped up or like my plan wasn't perfectly executed on that day. And so I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop, period. I'm not going to go even further than that. And so when you let go of that, you start stacking up so much progress and you get so much farther down the lane, right? Down the road than you ever were before with that mindset that you had to be flawless. Why put that pressure on yourself, right? Why put that negativity on yourself? Why give your inner critic, your inner judge, something to work against you with and instead kind of align yourself with your inner wisdom that knows that nothing's perfect, you're never going to be perfect. And knowing that, you can actually make some serious progress in life. So if you're really focusing on this kind of perfection mindset or you've noticed that in you, just take a step back and acknowledge that you were there and then start asking yourself this question, right? Is it good enough to win? Is it good enough to win? Was today good enough to win? And you can still have that moment where you went, you know what, today wasn't good enough to win but it gives you the opportunity instead of kind of like sitting in this cycle of sorrow and being upset and being so hard on yourself, gives yourself this opportunity to come back and go, you know what, tomorrow I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna do what's necessary to win. I'm gonna make that happen for myself. And I'm also going to enjoy this process versus being so, so, so hard on myself to the point where I actually, like I said, you can't, you might not actually get anything done. You might stall, you might pull off the road completely or think that you're doing something wrong. So rather, instead of having that perfection mindset, trade for excellence, trade for what it's actually going to take to win and to accomplish all those goals and those dreams that you want. And I bet things are going to work out a hell of a lot better for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, I would love it if you subscribed. And if you're interested in learning more about working with me and my coaching programs, please visit www.coachingwithevan.com. See you later.